Hello and welcome to the CATIA Advanced Sketcher lesson. In this lesson you'll learn how to use construction lines, the profile command, spline, chamfer, fillet, and the mirror command. To begin, I'm going to enter CATIA, go to Start, Mechanical Design, enter the Sketch Workbench. I'm going to draw this sketch on this front plane. In this lesson, dimensioning isn't terribly important, so I can just put three circles anywhere I'd like on the sketch plane. If we wanted these circles to be horizontal and vertical from each other, we'd have to dimension them from the origin equally. However, there's an easier way to do this. First, select the construction line button on the top toolbar. This allows any of these profile or circles or lines to be construction elements. In this case, we'd like a line from this origin to that origin. See how clicking this button converts it back and forth. An alternative is to click on the axis button which draws automatically a construction type line from point to point. Now to make this horizontal, click on it to highlight it and go to the constraints definition button. Select horizontal and it automatically snaps to place. Similarly, do that to the vertical. Now it's vertical. Now no matter where we drag the lines, everything stays horizontal and vertical. Next is the profile command. Clicking on the profile command allows you to draw connected lines from point to point. Also, you can go up here and click the tangent circle button which allows you to draw a tangent circle from that last line you drew and then continue on with your lines. Now you have a profile. The spline command, which is right underneath circle, can be used to draw a spline from point to point to point, and then to exit the spline command, either re-click the button or double tap the escape key. Finally, we'll use the rectangle button to draw a small rectangle above our circles. If we wanted to put a sketch chamfer or sketch fillet on any of these corners, we can first highlight them using the control and click button, then go over here and select chamfer or fillet. In this case, we're going to do a small fillet. By just dragging the mouse, you can select where you'd like the fillet to be placed. It automatically dimensions it for you as well. That can be changed very easily. If we wanted to chamfer any of the corners, you can click on the chamfer button and highlight the two corners and place it anywhere you'd like as well. So you can see dimensions have automatically been assigned, and they're both easily edited as well by double-clicking on the dimensions. Now the last step to completing this sketch is to use the mirror command. The mirror command is under this drop-down toolbar where there's offset, scaling, rotation, translation, symmetry, and mirror. Select mirror. The bottom left tells us to select the set of elements to, to be duplicated. I'm going to zoom out slightly and just click and drag to highlight our elements. 
Now it tells us to select the axis that we'll rotate it about. There. Perfectly mirrors it about this axis. What's beneficial about the mirror command is now you can change one thing on one side and it changes it on both sides of the axis. You can move them further, closer, they can cross. You can even use the constraint definition button by clicking and control clicking two points, making them coincident. And that concludes the CATIA Advanced Sketcher lesson.